Hello and welcome to class of 5G new radio system modeling. So these are some of the parameters which are required to be modeled. These are the OFDM parameters. Now frame structures are required to be modeled like OFDM parameters and these are the configuration. So subcarrier spacing 15 kilohertz 30, 60, 120 to 40 and 480. Symbol duration in 66.7, 33.3, 16.68, 4 and 2. Normal cyclic prefix 4.7, 2.41, 1.2, 0 0.61 etc. No, uh, nominal maximum bandwidth, this is the parameter. And FFT is 4096415 kilohertz 4096 4096 for 240 kilohertz it is 2048 and for 480 kilohertz it is 1024 like this frame structure is also required to be modeled we can see this is a frame structure and this is of 10 millisecond and we are having 10 subframes so one subframe is of 1 millisecond so one this one Millisecond subframe it contains this is basically a slot slot having 14 symbol divided into two one millisecond 500 500 slot one and slot two and both having 14 symbols again divided into four parts so one 14 symbols to 50 then one slot one 12 symbols we can see here subcarrier spacing this is 15 kilohertz this is 30 60 that we have seen in a last This is slots per frame, slot per subframe. And we can see here also timing. So 120 kilohertz subcarrier spacing, that means 8 slots per subframe, 80 slots per frame, and 14 OFDMA symbols per slot. These 14 symbols OFDMA symbols. Now new modulation scheme such as 256 QAM. Is also need to be modeled properly like QPSK uplink downlink 16 64 gram in 4G now 256 gram which is a new modulation scheme it is also required to be modeled then we have uplink and downlink channel modeling so here purpose transmit data PDSCH PDCCH PUSCH PDSCH downlink data PDCCH downlink data PUSCH uplink control and data. This is cyclic prefix OFDM, cyclic prefix OFDM, cyclic prefix and DFTS OFDM. Bandwidth numerology dependent, flexible numerology. Reference symbols UE specific, phase noise, yes. What is the modulation like up to 256 gram for PDCCH, QPSK? Coding scheme LDPC polar and LDPC. Thank you.